guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maggie. Today we're talking about how to express these two ideas in English. 吃亏和吃亏是福. Even though in Chinese they share the first two words, but they are used very differently. So is in English. We are going to apply them into very specific situations so that next time something like this happens, you know what to do. Let's start the video. 第一个呢,咱们先来说一下吃亏怎么说,最常见的呢,应当就是 got the short end of the stick. For example, you can say, I'm really shy, so I feel like in the job searching process, I really get the short end of the stick because I don't like to go out and network with people. 所以在这种情况下,是因为自己的某些特征呢,而造成自己在某件事情上面就会很吃亏。就可以用这种形式前面先形容一下 I'm not good at something or I suck at something or I'm shy 我自己的特征 然后说, um, So I feel like in this situation I really get the short end of the stick 然后后面呢, 再接着说就可以了 所以这样的情况下是这样来形容我吃亏了的 I'm really shy So I feel like in the job searching process I really get the short end of the stick Because I don't really like going out and networking with people. 那当然了,还有不是因为自己的原因而造成的吃亏。比如说, Amy got the short end of the stick when she was assigned another week of night shift. 所以如果你想说在某件事上,某个人是吃亏的,就可以用这个句型. Someone got the short end of the stick when this happened. Another good example is in business negotiations, you have to stay calm and focused, or you may end up getting the short end of the stick. 那这一句呢，很明显就是说你一定要怎么怎么做，不然的话呢，你可能会吃亏。下次再有这种情况出现呢，就可以说 You need to do this, or you may end up getting the short end of the stick. In business negotiations, you have to stay calm and focused, or you may end up getting the short end of the stick. 另外一个词呢,是我前两天看 uh, The Office时候发现的,叫做shortchanged. Shortchanged. I feel shortchanged. 这个呢其实可以有很多种翻译因为不同场合的时候是不同的意思但是呢它总归可以翻译成缺斤少两了或者是少找钱了或者呢就是有一点吃亏了的意思在里面比如说呢如果你是实际上的别人找钱找给你找
this is totally unfair. I deserve that promotion, but they give it to someone else. I feel shortchanged. I feel shortchanged. Uh, 就是, uh, Shortchanged.那下面呢，咱们来说一下吃亏是福。这个呢，其实我个人想了很久很久啊，我觉得呢是没有一个完全的直译，因为吃亏是福呢，大多数情况下实际生活当中用吃亏是福这句话呢，可